Stephen, in the Group 1 Haunui Farm Diamond Stakes, you're represented by last start stakes winner Recanto. How's he progressed since then? Look, Andrew's progressed really well, actually. He, um, he bounced through that race well. As you can see in his runs, he only does what he has to, um, which I think really helps him come through these races. I've thought about it a lot with, you know, with his relaxed nature and how he's just getting to the front and just doing enough. We've decided to play around with a little bit of gear. I'd um, toyed with the idea of putting side wingers on before his last start. Went off that, and now I've got the visor blinkers on, which I think's really helped him. And his last couple of gallops in them have been top-notch, and I think it's really improved him. And we saw him sit on the speed last start. Is he likely to go forward again? Look, he'll go forward. He's drawn beautifully in barrier four. Um, he'll, he won't be dug forward to try and lead or anything, but he'll be in the first sort of three or four. Be right there, and I'm sure Mark will give him a great ride from the good barrier. He's won three of his four career starts, with his only defeat coming when racing right-handed at Allersley in the Eclipse Stakes. Were there any excuses that day? Look, I've, um, I've made it quite clear that, you know, I think that was a race to really forget. He, um, he jumped good, he just had to work hard, he ended up going to the front earlier than we wanted to, and on a really hot speed, and, you know, nothing really finished it off in that race, and Marky Mark won that day, and I think he's a very good horse, Marky Mark come from a long way off them. I think it's a really race to forget, and I think um, judge him right-handed on this time. Uh, is this likely to be his final run this term, or would you consider pressing on to the Manawatu size? The way he comes through his races and the way he's going, we'll definitely look at the Manawatu size. He does hold a nomination for that, um, and that's the ideal ideal race for him. I think the 1400 will suit there, but look, if he if he doesn't come through perfect, he'll go to the paddock and look for very early three-year-old races, um, but I would be guessing that he will be definitely going for there. And Graham Rogerson has two runners in the race. Have you been working on any ammunition in the event of an inquiry? Yeah, a lot of ammunition. I've got my Tommy gun ready. And uh, now I've, I've been actually gone to see a good lawyer and I'm um, working out a few more strategies for that. 